Hi, this is Katie Mazzacco of FullSpectrumProductivity.com. I work with established small businesses to help them increase their income and impact in the world systematically. Today's productivity video is all about how to delegate effectively. Effective delegation is an art and a science, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you three strategies for making sure that you're the best artist and scientist you can be. Number one, inform, do not suggest. As an owner, as a delegator, it's important that once you've decided how you want something to be done and you're conveying that to the person that you're delegating to, whether that be your assistant or a team member, whoever it may be, you inform them how you want it to be done. You don't suggest how you'd like it to be done. It, how does? Let me give you an example. If I wanted you to pick up the papers and put them on the shelf, I could say, I would like you on Mondays to pick up these papers and put them on the shelf. That is me informing someone. If I were to suggest it, I would say, it'd be really nice and I'd appreciate it if you would consider picking up these papers and putting them on the shelf if you feel like it, or if it works for you. What is that? That's not saying what you're looking for. When you inform somebody, you give them clear expectations so that they can rise to the occasion and be proficient at their jobs. You're actually disempowering somebody and preventing them from being effective if you don't inform them, if you're only suggesting things. Number two, clear instructions. It's important that you are very specific and detailed on how you would like something to be done. Step one, step two, step three, parts A, B, and C. Very clear. If you're not clear, you're gonna get a result that you're not looking for. You're going to have frustrations with having to micromanage or have someone say, I don't remember how to do this, I don't know how to do this, um, or them just doing completely wrong and messing up something. Number three is one of the most important ones and I think the most, definitely the most overlooked. So the third strategy is to create feedback mechanisms. You know, you're hiring people, the goal is to surround yourself with people who do things more brilliantly than you do that you aren't able to do yourself. So you want people who know more about it, who know more about email management, who know more about interacting with clients or video or anything. So you, it's important to, to both inform them, obviously, and to have clear instructions on what you're looking for, but also to listen to their feedback. You know, you hired them for a reason. They're brilliant at what they do. So it's important to create a nurturing environment where they're able to say, listen, I think we could do this better, or I have a better idea than that, or this really isn't working. Can we come back to the drawing board and figure something out? Having clear open lines of communication, make it so that people will follow your instruction and your lead, but they also feel safe to approach you so that you can be a better business owner, your business can be more productive, and you can make more money and change more lives. So out of these three, which one do you think that you're gonna try first? Um, I'm curious to hear what which one it is for you. Leave me a comment in the comments below. In the meantime, I have a free checklist on my website, 33 systems every small business must have to be successful. If you'd like to be a successful small business, visit my website, fullspectrumproductivity.com to get the inside scoop on those 33 systems today. This has been Katie Mazzacco of fullspectrumproductivity.com, hoping you have a beautiful week. Keep thriving. Bye.